good evening and welcome back to my little gardening show. Uh, it's been about a week, a little over a week, and most of our tomatoes have sprouted. We got two rows and nothing happened. I suspect that the kids may have just missed those rows when they were planted. So we'll we'll do something else there. But we got enough duplicates. Um, we're not going to have any shortage of tomato plants. Swiss chard is starting to come up as well. Different varieties. We're doing orange, rhubarb, yeah, rhubarb red and pink. We go over to our peppers. They're all sprouted. And then we've got our uh, butter gem lettuce from Baker Creek. This is, uh, you know, I probably sowed a couple hundred seeds, and uh, out of that, got maybe a. 10% germination rate, we'll say 15, 15 or 20, we got um, 56 seedlings and they're looking pretty good. So the next step is going to be to uh, separate out these plants give them the right spacing. I mean right now they're okay but um, pretty soon they're going to get pretty big especially the tomatoes. Um, probably my next step with the tomatoes actually is going to be to take them off the heat mat now that they've sprouted just to slow them down a little bit because we did plant them kind of early. We were targeting like the last weekend of May second, second to last weekend of May to plant them out and uh, really we don't want them in the grow trays more than eight weeks, and we're right at um, golly, mid May will be around the eight week mark. So we want to give them as much room as possible. The peppers will probably be okay in these trays once I separate them out um, where they're at because they're deep enough. You know, these are the worm bin trays, and I'm just repurposed as a grow trays and they work out great. Worked out great last year. They're about six inches deep. The tomatoes, uh, they need to be potted up in at least a six inch deep um, container if I want really good results. I could probably get, get away with like a four inch container, like a little four by four pot. But ideally if I can get a six inch Tall container just to encourage a lot of root growth there. That's the key. You know, last year I kind of messed up on that, and they, they stayed in those trays um, for at least eight weeks. Had a ton of top growth because I was, you know, feeding them regularly. But uh, the root zone, there's so many plants in that tray that there wasn't a lot of roots. It was just a tight little ball of roots. And um, between that and the cold weather, and uh, maybe you know pruning off a little too much it just wasn't good and most of them died didn't make it and I ended up having to go to the uh, you know the grow center and pick up a tray of tomatoes uh, to replace them you know and didn't get get to grow the varieties that I had started so that was kind of a bum deal but you know a learning experience so Anyway, once we get those uh, transplanted out, we'll, and I've got two more trays like this, so what I'll probably do is double up on the peppers. You know, figure something out with that. And then one of the beauties of, of um, starting all these plants is that I've got plenty to share. And so like last year, um, we gave a bunch away to uh, a homeschool co-op um you know they were they were just 
super excited to get the plants. Plus, I had some left over to uh, replace things, like with the peppers in particular. I had some uh, birds that were interested in the peppers and kept coming down and snipping off the tops. Um, I lost probably five pepper plants that way, and so I was able to replace them with like varieties, you know, until, because after about third or fifth one, the uh, birds stopped messing with the peppers. And, uh, I think one one of the things that helped was we got a um, big like whirly gig uh, ornament type deal and put them close to that area and kind of maybe scared them away. So Swiss chard, they'll be fine in a tray like that. You know, I just need to space them out or thin them out. But if it all goes as planned, I mean, we'll have plenty of uh, stuff. To, uh, to plan out this year. All my cold weather stuff is over at the, at the greenhouse um, you know that I've got over at my dad's house and he's taking care of those plants and uh, need to go out there and make another video of that just to update show the progress um, as far as that's concerned. Uh, we need to start getting them outside um, those plants because they're not getting any of the wind uh, wind resistance so the stems I mean they're okay but they're not as strong as they they're gonna need to be once they're out in the garden so ideally we want to get them out outside on a platform or something so they get used to the wind you know a couple hours a day um, you know until we work them up to a full day you know and the conditions are right um, so that when we set them out the plant they can handle it because there's a lot of there's a lot of wind out there so anyway, that's uh, it for now. We're we're not gonna do a whole lot tonight because it's late. You know, these plants are gonna be okay um, for you know a couple more days until I have some time to to pot them all up. So um, I guess that's it for now. Until next time, happy gardening. Bye.